This is a case of Lermet Duclos disease, also known as dysplastic cerebellar gangliocytoma. The image is demonstrating infiltrative T1 hypointense, T2 flare hyperintense lesions centered within the vermis and right greater than left parasagittal cerebellum with associated gyral swelling and effacement of the fourth ventricle. There is no diffusion restriction and the post-contrast images demonstrate prominent peel vascularity. The tissue swelling and effacement of the fourth ventricle result in slight downward shift of the cerebellar tonsils which still remain above the level of the frame and magnum, though both the frame and magendi and lushka are effaced. Dysplastic cerebellar gangliocytoma are most likely hemorrhoid hamartomatous, although the exact etiology remains unknown. Lermit Duclos typically presents in young adults with a number of associated disorders including Cowden disease, disorders of cortical migration, polydactyly, hydromyelia, and macroglossia. Symptoms are secondary to elevated intracranial pressure and obstructive hydrocephalus. The lesion results from derangement of normal laminar cerebellar cellular organization. Initial treatment includes treating the underlying hydrocephalus with surgical resection as definitive treatment.